Hey everyone, Dr. Hampton here, and I've got a question for you. Why is everybody suddenly drinking this sour stuff before meals? Even my wife Karan told me that she kept seeing videos and images about apple cider vinegar in her social media feed. And she told me maybe you should find out what this noise is all about. And if you're married, you already know. I said, yes, dear. So here we are, apple cider vinegar or ACV, as the internet calls it. It's blowing up again on social media. People are claiming it helps with weight loss, blood pressure, digestion, cravings, and even energy. But let's be real. Is it actually a miracle fat-burning tonic or just another health trend that tastes like salad dressing gone wrong? Today, we're going to break it down mechanistically and see what's really happening in your body when you drink this stuff. We'll cover how it might help with weight loss, some surprising lesser known benefits, who should avoid it, and how to use it safely and effectively. Oh, and don't worry, carnivore fam, I've got thoughts for you too. Let's dive in. But before we do, share in the comments where you're watching from. Let's start with the basics. What is apple cider vinegar anyway? It's made by fermenting crushed apples. First, Natural sugars are turned into alcohol, then bacteria convert that alcohol into acetic acid. That's the key ingredient, the one responsible for all those potential health benefits. And yay for the face puckering tang. But what does acetic acid actually do inside your body? Well, here's where it gets fascinating. First, it helps improve insulin sensitivity. That's right. ACV has been shown to reduce post-meal blood sugar spikes especially in people with insulin resistance or prediabetes. In one study, participants who took vinegar before a carb-heavy meal had 34% lower post-meal glucose levels compared to the control group. That's not magic, it's metabolic. What's likely happening is that vinegar slows gastric emptying just like GLP-1 drugs, which is why I listed ACV as one of the natural alternatives to GLP-1 drugs in my previous video. And when you slow gastric emptying, that means your food leaves the stomach more slowly. That buys your body more time to deal with carbs gradually, rather than dumping them all at once into your bloodstream like a sugar tsunami. And slower digestion equals fewer crashes, fewer cravings, and a more stable insulin response. That's why GLP-1 drugs and apple cider vinegar are good for both diabetes and weight loss. Second, it may increase AMPK. AMPK is a little enzyme with a big reputation. Think of it as your body's cellular fat burning switch. Acetic acid seems to activate AMPK, which tells your cells, hey, we're low on energy, let's burn some fat. It also tells your liver to stop creating new fat, a process called de novo lipogenesis, and start breaking down stored fat instead. And when you combine this with improved insulin sensitivity, you've just created a little metabolic environment that favors fat loss. Third, it suppresses appetite. Several studies show that people who consume apple cider vinegar before meals naturally eat less throughout the day. And not because someone told them to diet, because they actually feel fuller. Why? Again, slowing stomach emptying plays a role, but also because acetic acid may influence hunger hormones like ghrelin. So when people say, I don't get as hungry when I use ACV, there may be real biochemistry behind that. Now let's pause here and address the elephant in the room. Does apple cider vinegar burn fat directly? No. Let me say that again. No. You're not melting belly fat with vinegar, but it might help you eat less, manage insulin better, and tap into fat burning more efficiently. That's the mechanism. It's not a magic bullet, but it can be a helpful tool. Think of it like this. ACV isn't the fire, but it might help you strike the match. Now let's talk about the other benefits, ones that aren't in every video. Number one, it may help lower triglycerides. In Some animal studies show vinegar reduces blood lipids by decreasing fat production in the liver. Number two is antimicrobial. Acetic acid kills certain bacteria and yeast, which is why it's used for things like dandruff or even cleaning countertops. Number three, it might support better digestion, especially in people with low stomach acid, which ironically can cause heartburn and bloating. Number four, it may improve mineral absorption. Vinegar enhances calcium uptake, which could support bone health, especially in older adults. Those are some fascinating side benefits, but don't go chugging it just yet. Here's who should not use apple cider vinegar. 
If you have acid reflux, ulcers, or GERD, ACV could make things worse. If you're on diuretics or insulin, be cautious because it could lower potassium or blood sugar a little too much. And don't drink it straight. It's acidic enough to erode tooth enamel or irritate your throat over time. Always, always dilute it. So how do you actually use ACV? Here's what I recommend. One to two teaspoons in eight to 12 ounces of water. Drink 10 to 20 minutes before your largest meal. No more than two doses per day. And optional, add a pinch of cinnamon or squeeze of lemon for flavor and extra benefit. Do not brush your teeth immediately after. You can even mix it into sparkling water or herbal tea. Just don't mix it with soda and call it healthy. Now, what do I think about ACV as a carnivore diet? Great question. If you're already low carb keto or carnivore and you're insulin sensitive, ACV might not move the needle that much for you. You've already fixed the root cause, insulin overload from processed carbs. But for the average person eating standard meals with starch, sugar, and a side of stress, apple cider vinegar might be that gentle, doable step toward better metabolic health. And if that's the tool that helps someone start the journey towards lower insulin and better health, I say go for it, even if it smells like pickles. So let me leave with this. Apple cider vinegar isn't a fad, but it isn't a fix-all either. It can help with blood sugar, appetite, insulin, and digestion, all of which contribute to easier weight loss. But it has to be part of a bigger strategy. You still need real food. You still need sleep. You still need purpose and connection and joy. And yes, you still need to listen to your wife when she tells you what video to make. Thanks, Karan. If you found this helpful, do me a favor and tap that like button. Leave a comment telling me your experience with apple cider vinegar. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And hey, if you're curious about other foods or supplements that help with fat burning, click on the video right here on the screen. Stay curious, stay healthy, and maybe stay a little sour. I'll see you the next time.